Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare granite soup. Ghanaian delicious granite soup locally. The ingredient you need for this soup is pepper, onion, tomatoes, tomato paste, cube, and we have your meat. Any meat of your choice, you decide. Any meat of your choice, and we have the granite paste. And salt to taste. So let's get started with this. The first thing we have to do is to season the meat. So we have to ground our onions. And I'm using the Asanka or Apotoiwa to do it. If you have a blender, you can use it. But I like it locally. That's why I'm using the Apotoiwa. one big onion I glanded one big onion you don't have to pour water on your meat you have to just put the water in the apotoyua and clean the rest of the onion and pour it on the meat so I like to add the keep the seasoning keep No, salt is very important when it comes to every food. Mm, so, use the amount of salt you think. I will add the tomatoes, pepper and the other one onion to the meat. I like to season them together so that they, it can get cooked but you can choose to cook them separately. But I like it like this. Now I will add my tomato paste to season it. Half of it, I will not use all of it, I will use half to season it. So, when you are then putting everything inside, cover it and let it cook. So, in some few minutes, just take your cooked tomatoes, pepper, and onion out of it. Because granuts take a long time to be cooked, you don't have to season the meat for a long time. You just have to season it for about 20 minutes. Then you get your hot water and pour the granite paste in it and mix it very well with your hands. So make sure the water is not too hot or else you're going to burn your fingers. So mix it until it is well mixed mm -hmm. 
So when it is well mixed, pour it in the meat. So now you have to add some water to it. Cover it for it to get thick. Now you have to brown your cooked pepper. Add the tomatoes to it and ground it 